Okay, everyone. In last episode, we were mainly uh, talking about the humaneness. We try to understand in a very deep and profound way about the, um, uh, the foundation of the humaneness, which is about uh, the original heart or the true heart. If we can find this lost heart, and it might be more helpful for us to always keep awareness of such the activities of our heart and to remind us we are different from other creatures. We human beings, we have a four things. We have the energy, we have the consciousness, and we have the morality, which matters more. So, and then now we continue uh, a little bit about uh, Zhen. So in Confucius teaching, and uh, when the, the master tried to answer the questions raised by his disciples about this humaneness, he always relate the humaneness with other virtues like the righteousness and the propriety, loyalty, trustworthiness, and uh, the filial piety. So these are the virtues. We can see it as a means of expressing the humaneness. So remember that when we're talking about, we try to understand the, this word Ren, and which consists of two parts, the man and the two. So men help us to understand we human beings, we are unique and we have this, the heart which is uh, so meaningful. And then two, that means the practice of humaneness is become meaningless if it is not involved the, uh, the human relationships. So when we try to express this humaneness, we need to apply it into our moral daily life. Like one of the sentence, uh, which is closely related to humaneness and filial piety. And Junzi devote himself to the filial piety and fraternal love, for these are the roots of humaneness and indeed. And also, in some other cases, and humaneness is related to the, uh, the propriety, the rights. And when Yan Hui ask about humaneness, and the master was saying that overcome yourself and return to the rights is the humaneness. And then he was also saying that if someone is not humane, what is the point of teaching him the rights? If he's not humane, what is the point of teaching him the music? See? So, and Mencius was saying that for men, humaneness is a peaceful abode and righteousness is a correct path to follow. So these things, the righteousness, propriety, filial piety, trustworthiness, and they all the means of expressing humaneness. But one important thing we need to remember, because human beings are so different from other animals, and we, can make the way great, not way can make man great. So this is again the uh, very exciting comprehension of the human beings as one of the entity and the ways on the other. Zengzi said, the man of good character must be brought and resolute, for his task is odious and his path is long. Isn't the task odious when his aim is to accomplish humaneness? Isn't the path long when his task cannot stop until the last minute of his life? Friends, 你们都要终身继续，苟利国家，生死一致。是，不可以不弘毅，任重而道远。我们现在做的一切，不仅是为了眼前的成败。So here, 
we need to remember that. Come back to the conflicting idea we talked in the last episode about, on the one hand, the humanness is applicable in our daily life, but on the other, no matter how hard we strive for it, it's so difficult. So the difficulty between the ideal humanness and the real humanness. But one thing we need to remember that we human beings, we can take our initiative to make the way, or in this case, the humanness, the great. Unless everybody can carry on this humanness and can this world become a better world. So, and next, we're going to focus on this second uh, concept is a shu reciprocity when it's translated into English. So it is uh, often thought of as a capacity to measure the feelings of others. So it's very important. Um, it forms part of humanness and is of great significance in the teaching of uh, Confucius. So there is a sentence. Zi Gong asked, is there any word which may serve as a guidance in one's whole life? The master said, it is perhaps shu, reciprocity, which means not to do to others which you do not wish to be done on yourself. This is a very simple, but when it's applied in our daily practice, and it's so sometimes it's getting so difficult. Just like we know that something is a good thing, but why we do not do that? Okay, so this sentence, uh, do not do to others what you do not wish to be done on, on yourself, originated from uh, the sentence. Zhong Gong asked about humaneness. The master said, when going out, behave as if you were receiving important guests. And when having people work for you, behave as if you were officiating important sacrifice. Do not do to others which you do not wish to be done on yourself. Only in this way can you be free from any complaints either in the state or in your family. Zhong Gong said, Though I'm slow, I'll follow your teaching. You see, so this is a very detailed instructions about how to behave when you are dealing with others, when you step into the society. And uh, so it's all about the human uh, relationship. And also, above this level, we have another sentence which also explains this reciprocity. Zi Gong said, if there were a man who could extend goodness to people and help those in trouble, what would you say of him? Would he be considered humane? The master said, he's more than humane. You should call him the sage. For even Yao and Shun found it difficult to do so much. Therefore, the man with humaneness seeks also to establish others when wishing to establish himself, and seeks also to accomplish others when wishing to accomplish himself. To empathize others may be a fine way to apply humaneness. and always stand in others' shoes to think what they like or what they dislike and reflecting something on yourself. And then you will find it's a lot more easy for you to solve the problem. So that's about the reciprocity. And in the analects, we always hear these two words, zhong shu, zhong shu. Actually, it came from uh, one of the sentences, uh, is, which is about welcome between the uh, disciple uh, Zhen Shen and uh, um, the Confucius himself. If there, there is one thing, a thread binding my way together. So the Zhen Zi uh, assented 
after the, the master had gone out, the principal asked, what did he mean? Zhen replied that the way of the master consists in loyalty and reciprocity. So, okay, so this sentence, the Zhong Shu, starting from then on, Zhong Shu was a term we always uh, follow. We can understand the Zhong mean, simply means that the uh, do your best. Do your best to yourself, to your rulers, and to other people. And then about the loyalty and the trustworthiness, there is another sentence. Zhen Zi said, I examine myself daily on three points. Am I faithful in acting on behalf of others? Am I trustworthy in my dealing with friends? Do I practice what has been passed on to me? So, so in this sentence, we can see that so the, the faithfulness or the loyalty and trustworthiness are very important in one's dealing with other people. Of course, there are many, many more sentences from a Confucius teaching, which is about the trustworthiness, about being reliable in, uh, in word, and also about the reliable in the re resolution about your actions. In a nutshell, be slow in word, but be quick in action. The loyalty and trustworthiness are the two, of course, very important virtues in, in one's um, career. And if without trustworthiness and loyalty, one can never be successful in his life. That's the end of uh, this episode. So see you soon.